What's up everyone, it's Stacko Cakes. I'm back with another Madden 19 video. This is a video for the Team of the Week players for week one. Let's go to it, let's check it out. First off, we got some solo challenges. There's two of them, just like last week. And uh, you get to earn a Team of the Week collectible, which is a, let's see, I believe it is a gold player. And we also get, oh yeah, here, here it is. Okay, the, the Team of the Week collectible, that goes towards the Team of the Year set that we did at the very end of the year. And uh, the other Team of the Week random gold player. So they changed it from last year. Remember last year? I'm pretty sure we can get Team of the Week any player from the set. Now it's just gold players specifically. So we get a random gold player and we get a Team of the Week collectible from those solos. Really quick solos as usual. And uh, let's go check out these sets. We got some good news for uh, rookie premier people. The, the uh, Denzel Ward got an upgrade. I believe he had uh, two picks, I believe it was. But uh, let's go check him out. First, we got the Emmanuel Sanders. He's your offensive uh, master of the week, boss, team of the week boss. So we got an 85 Randall Cobb. Let's check him out. 86 speed, 88 catch. Route running's so-so. Card's not too bad, nothing crazy. Next, we got the TJ Watt. I know lots of people like TJ Watt, but, uh, oh geez. Another thing I just noticed just looking at this right now. Um, so it looks like they combined the offense and the defense just like last week. I, I kind of thought that maybe they didn't uh, have as many players last week. So maybe they just kept it to one set where you get offense or defense, but it looks like this year is, uh, they're, they're combining it for the full year. Because last year we used to have a separate offense, a separate defense. So if you wanted the offensive player, you would have to get all of the offensive players. And if you want a defensive player, get all the defensive ones. But this this year it looks like the set is the same for both. I don't know what I think about that. I, I don't really like that personally. But um, here's a TJ Watt. I know lots of people like to get him all the time. 79 speed. 76 tackle. Nothing crazy about that. Uh, block shedding 82, finesse move 87, Ryan Fitzpatrick, who had 400 something yards, 67 speed, 85 throw power, 85 short, 79 mid, 75 deep. Not really usable at this point in the game. Denzel Ward, here's our upgrade for Denzel Ward. I believe he was, was he like a 78 or something, I believe, for a rookie premiere. So if you have the rookie premiere, it's going to get automatically upgraded to this 84, which has 90 overall speed, which is really, really good. And uh, he's got 83 man, 78 zone, 85 press. Not too bad for a card that uh, we got for free. So uh, this is definitely good. I'm, I like the upgrade for this. Uh, just maybe one more upgrade after this, and then he's going to be usable for our teams kind of thing but he still is looking pretty good because he's got that 90 speed which is very very nice to always have 83 man 78 zone he's not too bad he's not too bad definitely will take that adrian peterson 84 speed 75 carry <laughs> okay 79 trucking el pass on adrian peterson who else do we have here uh here are the other players. We've got the James Conner, who had a huge day. I'm guessing his card is unplayable as a 78 over. Yeah, no one's going to use that at 78 overall. But hopefully he gets more upgrades. There are the rest. Yeah, so like as I was saying, the offense and the defense look to be combined, which is kind of weird. We'll check the other set right here just to make sure that is the case. Yeah, that's the case. It's the exact same players. So the only guy that, uh, the only rookie premier player that we got an upgrade for was Denzel Ward. I wasn't sure if uh, Darnold was going to get one as well, but it looks like no. But at least we got one upgrade from that. Let's go check out the other sets here. There's uh, all four 80 to 81 overall team of the week players. Gives you an 84 to 85 team of the week player. Set is repeatable. And we got all four 77 to 78 overall team of the week one players gives you 180 to 81 overall team of the week week one player set is repeatable 
Let's go check out the packs. Actually, first we'll check the auction house. We'll check for the two uh, hero cards for this week. They are on the auction house. It took about 20 minutes to get on. I wasn't sure how late these were these were going to be on. They said uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's exactly when they came out. So usually, like usually uh, every Tuesday, it is a bit later. So they did come out. We'll, we'll get the Emmanuel, Emmanuel Sanders first before he gets sold. So he's got 89 speed, 92 catch. Very nice catching. 86 catch in traffic, 87 spectacular catch, 91 short route running, 89 medium, 88 deep. Some very good route running on him. And uh, very good catching. Speed very nice as well. And uh, the card looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Miles Jack. Let's check him out. I always love Miles Jack. I currently have him on my team as well. This is a five overall upgrade over the one that I have on my team. Let's just check out the upgrade right now. Here it is. So now he's got 84 speed, 74 strength, 88 tackle, 88 play rec, 81 block shed. He's got uh, 70, 74 finesse move yet, but uh, he is amazing. Love him. Great 4-3 uh, outside linebacker. And uh, the two masters are good. There's lots of people that were kind of thinking there would be other players as the, players as the masters, but... Uh, these are your two masters for the week. It was really hard to choose this week, I'm sure, for them. Not really sure how they went about choosing this, but uh, these are your team of the week players for this week. Oh, we'll check the, uh, the packs as well. You guys want to know the packs all the time. I don't buy these personally, but uh, I know lots of people do. So team of the week bundle. There's a seven times bundle. Seven team of the week packs and a guaranteed elite team of the week player. 2,200 points. Six remaining. Team of the Week pack, week one, gives one 77 plus overall Team of the Week player from this week's release, one additional 70 plus overall gold or better, one additional 66 plus overall silver or better, and two additional 62 plus. Okay, so that's 17,000 coins or 300 points. Max 15. I'm not really sure why they put max on, maximums on packs, but um, Team of the Week uniform fantasy pack. That's kind of interesting. Uh, 1,000 points. And it is, uh, those uniforms look uh, not too bad, actually. I don't really know what to say about them. They are kind of interesting. I would not pay 1,000 points to get them, but they are kind of interesting. I, I probably would use them if I could get them, but um, definitely not going to pay 1,000 points for them. So I guess to get both of them, you'd have to get um, 2,000 points to get that done. Ugh. I don't know about that. We'll just check special offers to make sure there's nothing else in there because I missed something for the ultimate kickoff. <laughs> no, nope, nothing in there. Okay, so those are your Team of the Week players for this week. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the players they chose this week. Do you think they missed anybody? Let me know. Hit the like button if you guys like this video. I appreciate every single like. Thank you very much. Hit the sub button if you guys want to know when my next video is coming. Hope you guys have a great day. See you guys soon.